Hello and welcome to lesson 2 of the series. Uh, today we are going to continue with the plate we created in lesson 1. Uh, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add two parameters. The first one is the true and false. I'm going to call this chamfer underscore um, active. And then the second one is going to be a numeric parameter. I'm going to call this chamfer underscore size. Okay, let's make this about 10 millimeter. Go done. So we're going to create the chamfer feature. Select the two edges. I'm going to say here chamfer underscore size. So that is the 10 millimeter chamfer size we created. All right, so just tested it. Looks fine. So now we want to control the feature. We want to basically switch it on and off. So we're going to create a rule for that. I'm going to right click and say add rule. I'm going to say chamfer control. All right, I'm going to do my text on today's date. Do one, two, two and chamfer suppression. I'm going to start another if statement. If user parameters chamfer active equals true, then now you can see the features that mimics the, the features in your browser bar. Um, you can right click on any feature. You can say capture the current state and it actually brings up all the, the, the active parameters for that feature. So I'm going to delete the first one. I'm going to delete the last one. So let's see what it gives us. It says if the chamfer active equals true, then the feature is active. So if the feature is active is false, then it suppresses that feature. So let's just see what it does. So I'm going to say else. Right, so if it's true, then it's on. If it's not true or anything else than true, it's going to be off. So then we say false. So then like any other if statement, when you finish it, you say end if. Right, so let's just test this quick. Save and run. Go into the parameters. Now the chamfer active is now true. So let's go false. So it suppressed the feature. You can see it's suppressed. And turn it back on again. And then it's true. Okay. And this is it for today's lesson. I will pick it up in the next one. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in our next tutorial. As always, please visit our website. You can download iLogic 3D models over there, as well as visit the forum uh, where you can ask specific questions and get the answers from the masters.